Right guys, Mark Crossfield here. We've got Stephen Buzzer, guesting, Ask Golf Guru app, questions, Q&As on the Q&A channel. We've got another channel as well, which you probably have seen with our course vlogs and my reviews and other bits. This is the Q&A channel, growing fast. We've got lots of videos and questions being answered daily at the moment. So we've got a question here about being hungry, Stephen. <laughs> Let's get stuck in. Let's get stuck in indeed. <laughs> Here we go, Mark. Go on then, what have we got? Hi, Mark. Hello. During a game of golf, I usually get a little hungry. <laughs> <laughs> what should I eat before, after, and during my game? Okay, I mean, this thank is you, a. Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. This is a good question. Do you know why this is a good question? Because you like food? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little bit of pasta. Just a little bit of olive oil. Um, no, the reason it's a good question is because well, there's a few things here, right? This question makes me laugh because I'm a stupid male, <laughs> right? So when he says, because- That wasn't the question. No, but what he says is I get- you know you're a stupid I get, male. <laughs> I get a little hungry when I play golf. So instantly my stupidity kind of thinks, well, why don't you eat some food? You know, well, that's not a question, that's ridiculous. But I played the majority, I mean, this is how stupid I am, right? In my bubble. I played the majority of my amateur golf getting hungry by like the 12th or 13th eating a chocolate bar, that's a good idea, eat one of the popular manufactured chocolate bars, thinking, oh, here we go, and then literally for the 12th tee, I'm like, right, here we go, come on then, we're going to get four under here, we're going to get four under, oh, here we go, here we go, come on, and then it gets about the, <laughs> the uh, second, oh, maybe I should hit this one, come on, <laughs> and then I get to the, like, the second shot on the 12th, and I'm like, I'm like now, I hit him just crashing and burning, oh, I've just eaten, I'm so hungry, how can I be? Because I just didn't understand the sugar rush and what have you. So actually, it's a really good question. And lots of golfers, amateur oh, golfers, golfers totally it. don't understand it. I mean, I play in hot countries and you've come on some yeah. of the trips as well. And it amazes me, you see these guys come off and they're like sunburnt, sweating, hot English guys yeah. drinking. Let's have a couple of beers. Oh, that that hydrate you well. You must be so thirsty. Um, so I think it's actually a really, really good question. And it is something that I now, when I play, seriously think about. Yeah, and it's trying to, it's trying to get it right in it. The, and when you play with Gorilla, with his, you know, if I start eating my Mac D's every day, I just start looking like well, a big gorilla. Yeah, but the question, <laughs> the question is good because it says before, during, and after. Yeah. You have to get all three right, long term, or when it goes horribly wrong. Yeah, well, what I found, so, and, and oh, we, tell us what, what well, what I, it, answer the question. It's really simple, right? For me, it's free, stay, free proper meals, it was what kills it for me. That means I don't get hungry, I can yeah. survive. When we go on those trips abroad, we have breakfast in the morning because we're at a hotel, yeah. and it's all free. So I just have a good amount of breakfast. I might have a cooked breakfast, sometimes I'll have cereal, or I'll have a yogurt, I'll have fruit, and I'll take a couple of muffins. Yeah. Cause I like a couple of my <laughs> <laughs> trying, trying to get, but then, trying to get some carbohydrates. In yes, it. but then you can use these fancy words. <laughs> I like muffins. <laughs> but then what happens? Then what happens is we stop. We might do two courses in the morning. Yeah. And we that often the course will give us lunch. So then we have a proper lunch. You know, like a like a spaghetti bolognese or burgers and chips or a steak sandwich. You know, we get like a proper meal, not like the normal lunch I have in the UK, which is like a sandwich and a pack of crisps when I'm just kind of fitting it in. We have a proper sit down hour long meal. Then we go and do two other courses or sometimes three. They're pretty grueling schedules when we go away. Not moaning, they're great trips. Um, and then we finish and we have another proper meal. And I feel, and I always say this when I come back to people, I just haven't snapped at all on that journey. On, on that holiday, I've just not, Snacked. Like in the UK, I'll have packs of crisps and chocolate bars and because snacks are so available in our supermarkets and in our lives. But you go to these countries and it's just like you eat free stable meals and we do some pretty grueling work carrying a camera around and talking a lot, you know, it's tiring. Um, but free stable meals, I just don't feel like I have to snack. The main thing I have to do, because they're warmer countries, is make sure I'm hydrated. Yes, I, I That's would, the more important I, thing. I would say hydration on the golf course is more important. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I like trying to get like a, a pastry based meal yeah, yeah. You, like probably the day before yeah yeah trying to get some carbs keep away from the sugar it absolutely Doing chocolate bars are it's because you get the spike so you want something like it's low it's, yeah lower uh, what's it gi i don't know but it just releases yeah. slowly so, so look, 
slow release sort yeah. of cups. So I'll, I'll sometimes do mean snacking on nuts. Yeah. I mean snacking on. But you're the nuts. same. When we go on these trips, we're not snacking. We're drinking, no. aren't we? It's because we haven't got time to snack. We're yeah. the cameras on. We're talking, and we're hitting on, shots on off, course, walking water. with the camera. Yeah, it's drinking is what we're doing generally. I, I think what, what's the what's the stat? A two percent loss in body weight. Is it? It makes a loss of performance of like twenty percent. Is it? I can believe that. So it. it I mean, it, it's huge. Yeah. Hy hydration. Try try and just keep the carb level up a little. Yeah, yeah. On the course, but yeah, hydration. I mean, there are better people who ask this question to if you want to know all the fancy carbohydrate words. <laughs> Complex. <laughs> as in, for me, it's as simple as not snacking, getting the sugar out. Yeah. Definitely, and even out of the drinks, trying to keep the sugar out. I'm um, more, yes. much more just water-based yes, kind of wa stuff. Water, water is. Yeah, absolutely. It's your friend. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Water is your friend. Absolutely. Um, and it, it's just, it's so basic. Like my mum's always said, free stable meals, Mark. You'll be okay. And it's like as basic as that. Why, why did you, us golfers why did you not eat them? Yeah. <laughs> us golfers are that silly. We're just yeah. so excited to go out and play that we forget to eat. Good question. Slightly long-winded answer, but I enjoyed myself. Was there an answer in there? Yes, there was. Eat three <laughs> stable meals and plenty of water. Easy trick, you won't get hungry. You're getting hungry because you're not eating three stables. Yeah? Like, small question. Thank you, Steve, for the most ridiculous answers. The, the two doctors are in the house, nutritionalists. Thank you, and we'll speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.